Hi, Mr. Pollard here, and welcome to the Mr. Pollard English YouTube channel, set up to help you really ace your English. In this series of micro videos, uh, we're really concentrating on grammar essentials. You might be somebody who finds grammar hard, or you're learning English as an additional language. I have done a video already on different parts of speech, so if you don't know what a pronoun is, then I suggest you go to that video first of all. Short paragraph through. So John is my neighbour. John is about 40 years old. John is married to Jane. John and Jane work as teachers at the local school. John and Jane have a son called David. John, Jane and David enjoy cycling as a family at the weekends. So just pause. What is it that is a little bit awkward about this paragraph? Well, this is it rewritten using pronouns. John is my neighbour. He is about 40 years old. He is married to Jane. They work as teachers at the local school. They have a son called David. They all enjoy cycling as a family at the weekends. So he and they help us by shortening down the sentences, making them seem less repetitive. And our brain can fill in. We know that he refers to John, that they refers to John and Jane, um, and that they all, in that final sentence, refer to John, Jane, and their son, David. Firstly, do you understand what we mean by first, second, and third person in grammar? Well, person is another way of saying point of view or perspective. So first person would be I, we, us, our, etc., that perspective. Second person is you, perspective, and the third person is he, she, it, their, them, perspective. You also then have uh, what we call subjective case, an objective case. The subjective case is, examples would be I, we, you, he, she, it, and they. Objective is slightly different, me, us, you, he, him, her, it, and them. Possessive pronouns uh, are when we refer to things or people that belong to someone. So mine, yours, his, hers, it's, ours, and theirs. An example might be it's not her watch, it's mine. Reflexive pronouns then are when we refer back to the subject of a sentence or clause um, and are formed by adding S-E-L-F, self, or selves to a personal pronoun or possessive adjective. So, myself, herself, ourselves, and itself. In the example here, I have not seen it myself. Reciprocal pronouns then. Uh, we use them when two or more people do the same thing, as in each other, one another. So here, Mo and Joe are helping one another with their maths homework. Relative pronouns then. We use relative pronouns when we introduce a subordinate clause i.e. a part of a sentence with a subject and verb that does not form a sentence on its own. And we'd use words like pronouns such as that, which, who, whose, whom, where and when. The maths homework that my teacher gave me is very difficult. Demonstrative pronouns, we use them when we want to distinguish the person or thing being referred to from other people or things. Um, this, that, those, these. This is the food I bought to the party, not those crisps. Interrogative pronouns. Well, interrogative is just another word for uh, a question. We use interrogative pronouns when we introduce a question for which a noun is the answer. So who, what, why, where, when, whatever, etc. These are all interrogative pronouns. They're asking a question. What did that person say to you? Indefinite pronouns. We use these when we are not referring to a specific person or thing. Typically, we might refer to an unidentified or unfamiliar person or thing. For example, anything, anybody, anyone, something, somebody, everybody, etc. I know somebody who can help you with your maths homework. But it's indefinite. It's deliberately vague. Uh, writers use this all the time. You might wish to use it in your own writing to help uh, create tension and create mystery. Have a go at this. I just bought Justin Bieber's latest song. Nobody buys songs nowadays. It's all streamed, isn't it? But go with me on this. 
What type of pronoun is I in this sentence? Just pause the video and have a think. Okay, well, here's the answer. This is a subjective first person pronoun. And just pause it. What type of pronoun is them in this sentence? Okay, well, the answer then is objective pronoun. So that's pronouns. Deep dive done. Please have a look at other videos in this micro video grammar series. Um, and also don't forget to like or subscribe so that you can be first to have new content to help you really ace your English. Look forward to seeing you next time on the Mr. Pollard English YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye.